Hi guys, today we have Mr. S.P. Shahji, who has been an army coach and our head coach at Dream United, who will be sharing some of his uh, views about Bangalore football and uh, his experience, basically. Hi there. Hi. All good? Uh, how have you been? <laughs> I'm good, good. How are you? How are you? It's been a long time since, I, been, since, we met, since we met. Yeah, it's been three, four months, right? It's been four months. Almost. Okay. All right. So, uh, Shaji sir is uh, somebody who has been uh, very instrumental in the making of Dream United. He has also been very influential in my career as a coach. Uh, in, uh, I mean, uh, before, before I even pursued any kind of a coaching license, Shaji sir has always uh, guided me through my career. And uh, in one of the coaching licenses I did uh, recently, one of the first things uh, the instructor said was, you know, uh, <clears throat> to always never forget the past and uh, stay up to date with the current things and current uh, upgrades that are happening in football and always plan and uh, think about the future as to how better we can do, right? So one of the things that I wanted to connect with that was uh, uh, like, uh, like not to forget our past, like what, what Bangalore football used to be before. None better than uh, Shaji sir because he has been a, a player for a very long time in Bangalore football and he has also been a, been a, been a very successful coach in uh, Bangalore. His uh, MEG teams have always ruled uh, Bangalore football and he has won many super division, uh, super division titles uh, in, in his career so far. So I wanted to uh, have uh, Mr. Shaji's uh, views on uh, how Bangalore football used to be before. Uh, actually, okay, uh, let me start off with this. Uh, Bangalore football was actually very good. We had very uh, talented players at those times. And uh, the, pl the players used to really work hard and, you know, there are very good teams at time. That like ITI, HAL, Telecom, CIL, HMT, all these teams were actually really playing good. And a good pool of players used to come out. And uh, the talent was really good, but money was not there. There was no mon money, okay. but there was only appointments. Generally, when yeah. people start playing, we used to have appointments. If a player plays good, he right. gets appointed. So, it is like you, you, you get an appointment, you uh, get paid. So, people used yeah. to get appointed. So, their only dream was like, you know, to get a job and start playing football. So, just play football, you earn your money. So, that was right. those days. So this was a trend actually those days, but people used to really play hard to get into some team so that they get an appointment. Because it was a lifelong uh, job as well, right? Yeah, and you know it is a, a regular income, and you know you don't you don't get uh, missed out if you get injured. There's somebody to take care of you. There is uh, your factory people. I mean your factory takes care of you. There are medical benefits, and all that was there. So a lot of players from Bangalore. At, those, at that time, that is 90s, 85, 87 to 1995, they've gone to the best of clubs in the country, East Bengal, Mohan Bagan, JCT. Now, there is a good pool of players at that time. The hard work which yeah. they showed was really, um, uh, I mean, uh, just amazing. They could, you know, generally go and say, okay, I'll, I will rule Bangalore football. It was like that. Right. Okay. Uh, so, which brings me to the question, like, uh, there have been some phenomenal players uh, from Bangalore, like uh, uh, Ilyas Pasha, Sarvana, latest was uh, uh, for a very long time, uh, Shanmugam Venkatesh. I, I, I'm sorry if I miss few names, but there have always been big time international, uh, India internationals who used to come from Bangalore. But uh, that number has somehow dropped uh, with, by, by quite a large uh, amount. Right. So, any uh, can, can you just tell me like what 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 used to be the secret or what what ma what went into making of uh, these kind of uh, players in the past? See, those days uh, actually there was uh, about fifteen teams in the uh, league championship, the Super Division League. Yeah. And after the league is over, the best five is removed. I mean, uh, they, we have an extra league that is the five top teams. Uh -huh. So, when the five top teams comes, you have an ITI, HAL, you have MEG and CIL and those five teams. And when those players, you know, you get the best out of it. Like, you know, the best teams come to the best five. Yeah. And uh, those days to get into the state team or to the league also, we used to have some very good talented players. 
in from the Karnataka right. team, if you have some players, you have about six, seven players who have really represented the country. They've been the yeah. state. And uh, the best chunk of players used to go into the uh, Santos Trophy. And this I League, yeah. ISL was not there that time. It was there. I League was there, but the best players could play. And not that that I League players could not play, but the I League, I mean, this players could play the best team for the Santos Trophy. Peak that time. You used to get good lot of players. Very talented uh, yeah. youngsters also. So nowadays we have more of a uh, under 13 India team, under 15, under uh, under 17, under 19. There are many India teams in the youth level before they actually make it into the national team these days, right? So somewhere the uh, Santosh Trophy, the value of Santosh Trophy or the uh, uh, regular path, I mean the path which existed before. You play Santosh Trophy and the best Santosh Trophy players used to play for India. So, yeah. can you compare both of these, like how we have done in terms of uh, picking up players from Santosh Trophy and how we have done in terms of picking up uh, India players from the various uh, youth teams? Uh, let me be very clear, uh, uh, the Santosh Trophy team used to produce the best of players in those days. So, there was not much of uh, thing. There is no, not much of bias there. Uh, the best of players from the country used to come out from the Santosh Trophy because Santosh Trophy was the highest level played th those days. And even yeah. I-League was there, you used to get best players, but I-League players could not play the Santos Trophy after a point okay. of time. Yeah, the, the reason behind, behind this is like, you know, the players who get a better money offer, they used to go to I-League and the lesser guys used to come into the Santos Trophy. The competition of Santos Trophy, it slowly started coming down because the best of chunk was to play ISL and I-League and the leftovers yeah. used to play, the, uh, play for the Santos Trophy. So, yeah. the quality of Santos Trophy has come down as well as uh, uh, the players who play also. They are not of much, very good caliber. They just play for the sake of it. That's it. So, I will uh, revisit the point. I just We just talked about uh, some, some very big players who came from Bangalore to represent uh, India. So, uh, one, one, one point you made was that there were 15 teams in Bangalore Super Division and then the best five had another separate league and uh, scouting used to happen for the state team and all that. Apart from that, from a coaching standpoint, what made these players? Meaning, even if they played enough matches, now there has to be, I, I'm sure there are, there, you will you will agree with me that there are, there are a few very good coaches who used to uh, apply their trade in Bangalore. Uh, if we talk about Amjad um, sir or uh, coaches like these. Uh, there, there, are, there have been some very uh, high caliber coaches also. So, what, what was the formula or what, what did these uh, coaches do in order to produce so many India internationals from Bangalore? Uh, to be very frank, there were some very dedicated players who used to play because their ultimate aim was to represent the state and the country. So, mm -hmm. once you start representing the state, the state, uh, you know, it was a, actually a fame. You play for the state, it is like, you know, you have played for the country, it's like that. And when okay. you get selected from the country, for the country, so somebody from, from the state gets to the country, it is like amazing. You know, it used to have about five, six players. Every time, regularly from the Indian team, used to have three, four minimum players who play from Karnataka to the Indian team. So the level has come down because the competition, you know, the players now, they start getting money. And the mm -hmm. intensity or the money has become more. But, mm -hmm. you know, when uh, people start making money, the quality has dropped. Drastically, and you would know, you, would that, you... no, no, sorry, 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 continue, sorry. And you know, the, you know, now you you do have quality players now. I know that a lot of money is there, and you have quality players. But those days, money was monetary benefits was very less comparatively. Mm -hmm. But only the dedication and you know, devotion for football was at a higher level. Mm -hmm. so play, players used to you know work out in the mornings. They you know, the huge chunk of players used to come from Gantu, Vivek Nagar. Magdi Road, Austin Towns, you know, you have the best lot coming from there. You know, mm -hmm. most of the international also from there, like, you know, ITA players, yeah. you know, and ITA used to play the Super Division, there were about seven, eight international playing in the main team. So mm -hmm. you, you can imagine who has played for the country and when they're coming back and playing for the club, they used to just yeah. give out. And even, yeah. So you have the best players coming out there. And the competition was really good because when you're at the chill idea and all,
you have the same level of players playing the same team, different team, right. but the best right. comes into the state. So right. that was we we saw we saw a veterans match of HL versus ITI recently. I think they were still as good as they used to be. I know the the, the there is still fire in them, but then your body cannot uh, go according to the way what you say because it is the age factor which is really affecting them. Right. Otherwise, there's a lot of fire in them. They want to play that football, but it is not it is there in the mind. But then body does not allow you to play. But those days they used to just be all out. and you know right. even i have played for the state in 91 92 the best of players used to get and i you know after me being the best in my mg team i was still a standby you know i was a, a substitute in the karnataka team just used to get 5 okay. 10 minutes to play so you know right. like thomas there was very good players sarvana right. you know her right. a lot of good players who have played along with me and you know they are really good and from there they went down to play for the uh, in bengal clubs like you know east bengal mon the venor for many years right so sir uh, you mentioned a very important point like uh, players used to get appointments and it was a life settling uh, thing if you play well enough uh, you will get settled in life and yeah. uh, players used to play from uh, uh, for for mm-hmm. years together to get get uh, this job um, other than that if they did not make it like what what used to be kind of the money they they used to make uh during your playing days the as i said again money was very less because very they less. used to i mean their only incentive was they used to get good pair of boots kit because if some team says that i'll give you a good pair of kit and a boot they should go and play for their team so right. the the passion was so much that if you get a good pair of boots or and thing because those days it we was, used to play with the the wooden stud boots and you know mm. and uh, those where the trend that and then nivia was the only boot was coming out and here and there one or two used to get this uh, foreign boots adidas nivia i mean uh, nike and all so right the quality start improving you know the quality of uh, you know the, the kids start improving later on those days yeah. it was very hard to get a pair of boot also so right uh, that was more was of more uh, purity Uh, purest form of football i feel football, uh, it yeah. was just for the love of the game we used to play and uh, then there was a pathway saying okay i will be settled for life if i uh, get this get into this psu or get a government job or something based on the merit of uh, playing right so now nowadays uh, there is no government uh, jobs available not, not as much as it used to be especially in yeah. bangalore yeah. most yeah. of the psu like ad cil uh, most of them have stopped appointments uh, any reason for that sir see uh, uh, there is a big reason behind it because those days uh, every player who gets into the pl- thing you know as a appointee in a job that is hl iti they play for few years that is they are not technically qualified to play i mean do any work in the uh, mm-hmm. office they have, okay. they must have passed their 10th standard and they just got a job so end of the day after join finishing your football career they are not given good jobs as to do so and they end up in you know small time uh, work you know which is not very uh, satisfying so yeah 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 graduates who used to come and they used to get better jobs i mean after a point of time you know generally those days players used to just play to get appointment and they used to play for 5 6 years and once they think that okay my game is going down they move to their factories and you know they stop playing football so mm-hmm. the ultimate aim was to get a job get settled in life the and you know play good football for you know how many of years they can play that was okay. their uh, uh, the main uh, reason for joining the job also okay so uh, I'll, i'll just stick with the payments part because we okay. were we are trying to compare like okay uh, there are we will try to figure out how what are the reasons as to why uh, from bangalore uh, more players for the national team or isl or i league are not coming up so i think the payments part makes a big difference because Uh, what will motivate a player otherwise right so uh, the the kind of uh, money that is that is made by uh, these days players do you think it is uh, good enough like in in our uh, professional league so in uh, uh, bangalore super division for example uh, a player gets like 20000 30000 50000 60000 a year do you think uh, somewhere that mm-hmm. there is no end goal or there is no uh, way, no means to like uh, set them for life is that is that would you would you say that is one of the reasons why players uh, don't uh, put in enough effort or say uh, there's not enough motivation for young players to take up football 
see one main thing is like as you said money plays a major part in uh, our yeah. football but here again uh, the super division teams in bangalore they are not paying very good to the players they just right. want their players for about 4 to 5 months max yeah. and most players here are actually working in some small time job where they can go and work and once they come back from that they come and play so this is just an incentive for them and there are a few players who dedicatedly do the, the footballing so that they come up in life there is a very few players like you know i can't name much but then there are very few players who really want to make big in life but again money plays a big uh, role but again when you go to the professional thing that is uh, bfc and all there are uh, players who are really making good money but you know the motivation level again stays back there because the, there are uh, players with good talent in bangalore but they are not making it big because their you know their mindset is a bit small you know they think that they can't go to the higher level and play uh, good matches they play among themselves or super division maximum karnataka state right, so after right. that what there are players who have played for the karnataka state and they are not even getting a job they are not even getting a government job so mm-hmm. what that what is next after that then they get back to small some private factory to join some job so that they can start looking after their parents they can uh, get married and settle down in life because indian football we start from 23 24 we finished off by 28 29 max right 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 it's a very uh, important point you make 23 24 yeah and uh, 28 29 uh, if they are playing good they may stick on to 29 30 but after that they finish their football get back to their job for example i can give you xavier uh, who right. was playing for hkl for two years uh, salgoka signed him for about two point i mean uh, about some 75 80 lakhs he yeah, went yeah. there uh, he went there uh, he could not make that money uh, in his uh, career that is 30 yeah, years of the career of the he went there and came back so his job is gone but he's made some money for himself he's made some right. name for himself saying that okay i played for the country also so right. people recognize me saying that okay this guy has played for the country and there is some way that okay this is a good player so that he's gone and played for goa in goa for some yeah. time so they know him as a national player so who has played national they slowly come down into coaching also later on now i think he's coaching some team Yes, yes, yes. He's he's very well active in the coaching arena now. sorry i think your uh, uh, screen got stuck for a while ah, that's okay so we will we'll, uh, stick with uh, the uh, the a similar uh, topic I think again he's getting stuck okay uh, can you hear me sir no your uh, uh, your feed was getting stuck ah, can you hear me now my thing my net my electric okay abhi no that's okay that's okay it's it's fine it's fine uh so um uh, so sticking with the with the same uh, point now if you had to make a qualitative comparison so between uh, like how how it used to be when you were playing and today what is the major difference that you see in uh, we've already we've already uh, touched upon many points that many top players used to play the uh, super division and uh, it used to produce a lot of uh, players for the national team um, i think we lost him again let me just uh, wait for him <coughs> you can see no can you see me how about him okay abhi the boy on yeah so if you could make a qualitative comparison between your playing and coaching days to uh, the the current uh, scenario of bangalore football what is the quality of the playing of football in your days and uh, now the quality has come down comparatively and uh, uh the the 
when when we used to play, uh, the, I said again, the competition was pretty high. And uh, these days, players play, and you know the the the, uh, the level of uh, competition has uh, come down uh, drastically because we don't have much of competition between the players themselves. So that is the reason. Would you would you would you agree with me if I say that? Uh, see, just now you said that uh, players used to snog it out for a good two three years before they got a job, or uh, it was more a purist view of playing football because they played for the love of it and the money was very less and all that. So uh, when uh, when 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 I made a, com a comparison uh, in the olden days, like in your days, uh, there used to be more number of senior players. who played in the uh, top league of bangalore uh, uh, yeah. you yourself what age did you actually get to play regularly in the super division when i was uh, 20 i started okay. uh, 19 and a half uh, i played till 28 i played about 9 10 years i played yeah no uh, regularly as in see now you mentioned also the point that uh, you know you were in a top meg team but you were uh given small time chances in santosh trophy and then you had to make it uh you had to you had to fight a lot for your uh, place right so in in uh, when when you were 20 uh how many players were there who were uh in their 25 26 and how many of those were there versus younger players uh, in in every team uh in every team used to have about 6 uh, to 7 players i mean about 8 players who are about 25 plus Used to have about uh, two three players who are really talented who used to join the team uh, on the in the on the uh, playing day. Twenty five plus uh, meaning they would have all, all already obviously got an appointment. That is why they would uh, still uh, give give their best, and there would be eight or ten of them who have been appointed, right? So they they can they can uh, uh, they can no. already call themselves saying I'm a professional footballer now, right? no the playing uh, when in those days uh, you know again i said uh, to 28 29 30 days to play good football right. so uh, so 26 27 was actually in their peak 27 26 27 they used to play i mean they were in their peak time when they used to play uh, that football and i uh, again i said that you know there are good teams as, such as iti hcl And uh, this was uh, the ultimate. They uh, used to be competition only between H L I T. Then slowly, M G started coming, telecom started coming in. So, so the fight was in between these five teams, five six teams. Otherwise, right. uh, all the other teams, you know, they were actually okay. But there was fight. But uh, end after the game is over, then you know the margin is to be a big uh, thing. Last of all, right, right. So these days, uh, like. Uh, Uh, how can i say it uh, since we don't have uh, jobs since the i league isl there are hardly uh, uh, how many 30 30 places to fill means in 20 professional teams there is hardly 600 players can uh, totally make it in out of that uh, most of them will be foreigners and is it is it like uh, young players are finding it more difficult to make a career these days because there is uh, no psc appointments and uh, the i league isl are very less and young players are being bought too cheap like uh, you pay some small money and they will come and play for you and uh, even uh, neither do the clubs have a goal or the players also cannot look forward to a bigger motivation do you think that is one of the reasons why bangalore football has come down these days no i would not say that because uh, you have a good chunk of players in bangalore too but again i said no the mindset is such that they know they just want to play for 3 4 months and what all the money right. they get they get the money and uh, they are fine with that i again i said that you know there are players who really want to make it big they are trying hard okay. to go and make it big but uh, again the uh, when, when it goes to a higher level competition they drop their idea saying that okay it is too high for me and i can't manage and they uh, drop back otherwise uh, you have a huge pool of players in bangalore but there is a lot of talented players in bangalore too but when we say right. they play for a few months or maybe 4 5 months then then they don't want to pursue this as a career and uh, that is the reason actually uh, slowly it is uh, deteriorating the, the standard is deteriorating i think right. uh, we, i think uh, the football standard will start coming up uh, in bangalore again a lot of initiatives have been taken from uh, by the ksfa 
and uh, the other clubs too, so that we right. see more number of teams coming into second division and uh, first division. Uh, right. Qualify. Yeah. So you had a huge amount of success in Bangalore. I think uh, currently you, I, I wouldn't be wrong if I said you are the most successful coach in Bangalore. Who has won uh, Super Division so many times with MEG? So you had a huge pool of players to select from in the from the, from the army or the youngsters. Or I remember you telling me that you know you would go out and pick youngsters and develop them over a year, give them everything, and then uh, we have seen so many players who have uh, come from nowhere and uh, played really well in Bangalore. Uh, uh, guys like Amar and uh, many 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 such. I can name many of them. But uh, what 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 do you generally look for a player in, and what was your uh, formula for uh, winning so many titles in Bangalore? Uh, um, let me be very practical to you because uh, I joined uh, in 2008 as a coach uh, in MEG, and I made myself very clear that uh, my aim is that you know what I could not achieve as a player, I want to achieve as a coach. So that was my right. uh, ultimate uh, motive. Uh, after when I joined, there was already some very good talent players in the team, like Amar and all. Uh, we had uh, we had a pool of players from Manipur from in 2012-11-12, and our MEG is mostly of South Indians, that is Malaya, uh, from Kerala and Bangalore, and very few yeah. players from Tamil Nadu. But mm -hmm. we had a good chunk of players from Bangalore as well as from Kerala, and it was a mix yeah. of. Uh, uh, Everybody. It is not just uh, Manipuris or Kerlites or Bangladesh. It was a mix, and you know, they were totally dedicated. My uh, my mantra was very clear: uh, You are playing for MEG, and you have a name for yourself. You cannot uh, just leave it away, because uh, when you start playing for a team, uh, it is the end thing is that you have to start winning. Uh, right. Because how many years can you just play and just be somewhere in the eighth or ninth place? You have to start winning. Right. And if you start winning, the confidence level of players starts improving. Say that, okay, I played a match and you know I played good. The team has won. So what happens? I start playing better. And uh, yeah. I had very uh, technically sound players. And my main thing was I started making them more tactically sound, technically sound, so that they can start <laughs> playing the robust football. Not that uh, you know you give away ball easily. You have to go to yeah. the last uh, thing to take the ball. If you miss it out, you have to do or die. That is the thing which I had. You have to go for a kill. So the aim was that, you know, to play good football. And, you know, their competition was very high. There was equal right. number of players with good competition. If X is not playing good, Y gets a chance. If Y plays good for the next season, X sits down. So X will start playing better. So in the training, we start uh, analyzing players, how good they play and how well they train. No shamming. Uh, there are players, you know, you play for three matches, two matches, they want to sham away. I can't play. Right. So, right. they were rested. Uh, you know, you, you, uh, the main thing is that discipline. You start playing good football, you should be down to earth. You can't just, right. just you, play, uh, you play for Karnataka State or you play for your army services. You start, can't start putting your collar up and say, okay, I'm a big player. I will play only like this. No. You have to give right. your best every time you play. A match. So that was more. How many of, players have you coached so far, sir? <laughs> uh, in the last eight years, maybe around um, 150 players, uh, and out of that, what uh, 60 to 70 have represented uh, the state mm -hmm. services, right. Southern Command. So a lot of players who have got into good name in Bangalore also, and they have played for right. Karnataka uh, from 2010 onwards and uh, nine onwards. Till uh, 17, 18. Uh, I mean, good chunk of MEG players used to play for the state team also. Right. You have, you have coached in uh, Kolkata also. How was that experience? And how would you compare that to Bangalore? You have played the no. big guys of uh, East Bengal, Mohan Bagan, uh, all of these. Uh, yeah. I, I was actually the coach of the Indian Army 11 team. That is, uh, we call Army Red. It is a mix of uh, players from uh, throughout India. It is not just uh, from MEG, it is throughout India. The best lot comes into the Army Red team. And uh, we play the Calcutta Football League, the Premier League. So where we have about 12 teams. And uh, we have East Bengal, Mohan Bagan, Mohan Sporting, 
Aryan club. There are a lot of good teams. All are equally good with a lot of foreigners uh, playing in there. And uh, they always used to ask me, like, you know, why your players, players are always running? They're not even stopping. I know. Uh, <laughs> what do you feed them? What do you feed them? I told, uh, it's just that uh, you have to just build your endurance to that level that, you know, you play 90 minutes game. And uh, most of the coaches used to come and ask me, what is that they, uh, you used to give them something to eat? No, just basic your training and that extra that's what you give. That's what. And the fighting spirit. To play a bigger team, you should have extra courage. You know, you can't say that I'm a big team. Every team is equal. When you get on the field, there is a fight in front of you. You have to fight it out and just win it. That's it. Right. So, you have been uh, with uh, Dream United for about four years now. And uh, yeah. from being a competitive coach, uh, we started training grassroots small kids to, you know, all the current players who played for us. Uh, to again, uh, to the following year where you were uh, promoted to a mentorship position where uh, you were you were more involved in our scouting and giving helping helping me and our coaches and all that. How has the transition been from being army to uh, going down to kids and going on to our players to now uh, you know uh, helping out coaches and helping out in different uh, in, in in a more mentorship uh, manner? How has been the transition? Sir? Transition was actually quite smooth because when I retired in 2016, my winning uh, thing was the Santos Trophy. So after that, uh, I thought, okay, uh, I need not, I need to come down and start working again because I got something in me I can give to players and who can really learn something. So you can't just keep away whatever you have with you. You have to give it away so that you start improving. That's what my total uh, uh, thing was about. Like, you know, coach good players, make them good. And, you know, play to a level where they can they get satisfied. Okay, I play to a level, I'm satisfied with my game. And here and there, uh, the transition was actually smooth. Uh, the first two years was actually good. I think uh, we went on to beat MEG also uh, the first year. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, after losing to them about 10, 10 times in the last yeah. uh, three years. <laughs> so, uh, it was actually good. Uh, when you start, uh, whichever team you coach, you should be dedicated to the team so that that is your team that time. So, right. any team which plays opponent, it is just your opponent team and you play good, fair football to win them. That's it. We need to play good football to beat an opponent. So, what best we can play, that depends on the players who play it out there. And in a day's match, whatever comes, that's the outcome of the day. So, right. so we have done so good. Any, any, any yeah. message for uh, young players sir, from Bangalore? So that, you know, they can drive, uh, derive inspiration from uh, you and, you know, like, we have, we have been complaining a lot that uh, Bangalore players are not making it to national team, they're not making it to ISL, I League. What is uh, one message you would give young aspiring players uh, to bring back uh, the glory days of uh, Bangalore? See, I would only say there is no substitute for hard work. There is no substitute at all. You have to just do your hard work. See, when you start doing, working hard, <laughs> There will be results. You will have competition. You have to get past those competitions and become... See, when you have about five guys in the same position, you have to work a little harder so that you are right. chosen the best. So you need to work more hard to get back to that place so that, okay, the confidence level should start coming up. Only then the coaches get confidence, okay, I can play this guy. He's good. So right. you start working hard. See, dedication, devotion and discipline. These three things... Yes. You should have it with you so that you start improving your game and start winning. That's it. Is that something from the army uh, that you, you learned or uh, coached or uh, preached these days? No, see, uh, uh, being an army man for the last 30 years, uh, I mean, yeah, 30 years, uh, my thing was, you know, discipline. You have to start having discipline in the ground, on field, off field, everything. You can't just say that, okay, I just finished the match, that's awesome, nothing. You got to go take rest, get in time to bed, get up in the morning, have your uh, breakfast. You know, that should, there should be a discipline in life. Otherwise, you can't uh, uh, become good players or a better player. Discipline makes a man perfect so that he thinks that, okay, this is the way I should live. This is the way I should play. And I play to a level, then I drop it off. So, to get to the level, you should be disciplined and hard work. Those are the main... There you go, guys. Uh, dedication, discipline, 
you know is something that uh, you have heard from shaji sir from an army man who has been very successful uh, in bangalore and uh, he has also talked about a lot of things that uh, you know uh, how it was in uh, during his playing days and coaching days and what was the attitude of players and how they played football they basically played for the love of the game and though there was uh, very little uh, monetary benefit still players uh, played hard and uh, worked so hard and eventually made uh, made a good name for themselves and uh, here chaji sir has been kind enough to share his experience and his message uh, to bangalore footballers i hope uh, it was it was a, it was a good chat and uh, i hope many players will uh, derive ins- inspiration from chaji sir and uh, you know from our past basically so that we bring back uh, glory to bangalore back again uh thank you thanks thanks a lot for uh, coming on the uh, ch- chat show sir thank you so much i wish uh, we our kannada team uh, and the kannada players uh, regain the glory which we have lost uh, thank you so much right. okay thanks a lot sir thank you